The inflammation process begins at the time of injury. In this animation, the ankle is used to demonstrate the physiological process that occurs when tissue is damaged. When the injury is sustained, tissue is damaged, causing disruption in the cellular matrix of the involved tissue. Primary or mechanical pain occurs secondary to the cellular injury within the tissue. In this case, the ligament is stressed beyond its anatomical function and stresses nerve fibers within the tissue. Initially, the body attempts to localize the injury site by reacting to the pain associated with tissue trauma in order to protect the injury site. The primary vascular event at this point is vasoconstriction. During this time, the body is mobilizing various cells, such as phagocytes and fibroblasts, to the area to isolate and localize the tissue trauma. Other chemical mediators, such as histamine, is released from damaged cells, which lead to increase in vascular permeability and vasodilation. Vasodilation leads to hemorrhage from the damaged vessels, causing the swelling in and around the injury site. As bleeding continues, blood volume to the injury site increases and a protein-rich exudate is formed. As exudate and swelling continue, the presence of fluid protein and cellular debris causes extravascular pressure to increase, blocking the vascular flow to the area. This causes venous and lymphatic networks to be blocked, and pressure along nerve endings in surrounding tissue causes additional pain away from the injury site. The body continues its repair of the injured vessel through the process of coagulation. Coagulation is the formation of a fibrin clot by margination of new platelets along the vessel wall. Finally, the result of the cellular and vascular events associated with inflammation cause the cardinal signs of inflammation, which are redness, swelling, warmth, and pain.